Hey, hey there, Virgo. This is Joy with Joy of the World here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button down below. It is free as always. And if you would like to be notified anytime I post new videos, just ring that little bell out beside it and they'll be sure to let you know. Also, if you like the content we provide here, give us that big thumbs up, share it, be gracious, be generous, help it circulate out into the world. Because as you touch those little buttons down below, it makes YouTube want to send it out to others who've not seen these before. These are timeless energy sessions that come in along with you to affirm, confirm. They resonate with the energy that you're already walking in, helping you clarify your ideas and to know the decisions and the pathways that you are to travel down. This is not my opinion. This is just simply an overview because I have a perspective to be able to look down in and around whatever is got yeah, because Virgo, it's already happening. My nose is itching, something is going on, and you saying what? I'm gonna just jump to it. Y'all know how to take care of me, okay? Read the description box down below if you want to know anything about me, friend. You're begging for a tower moment. I already pulled part of the reading and had to move it back because it felt sedentary. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. My midheaven's in Virgo, and I don't read anything into it. I was like, wait a second. It seemed like a crossing energy, and that was bothersome to me. It's almost like the old you and the new you were, were at a standstill, a lockdown, and talking about lockdown and COVID and that type of thing. And it's like, how do we generate newness, newness of life into this energy? And we have this magic over here giving me a knowing look. She's trying to awaken this cosmic DNA that we have here. But I want to know how to unfurl it. With that aside, we're going to step in and let you know what's really going on. This week is called Massaging the Ruby. And Michael, this conglomeration of energies, has stepped on in. He's not just one. He is, he is a cellular collective, just like this, coming on in to afford you the opportunity to move forward into your earth and power where heaven on earth meet. And that is right between the legs at our power chakra. Uh, that's where our other heart is. And you can think sexual or whatever you want. It doesn't matter, but it really has to do with when we came onto this planet, our eye of God, the circle, our zodiac, that type of thing. It afforded us many tools and powers, kind of like the magician and the fool and the first six or seven cards of the tarot deck. Okay. And the major arcana. Well, that's, that's in the soil and the ground down beneath us. And as we begin to divine and connect, allowing the energy to move in and through us, up and down, some call it kundalini, hermetic cup, caduceus, da-da-da-da-da, whatever, whatever. Even here, the limbness skate, okay? You see, we've got eight here, and we've got the power of eight here about creative manifestation, taking charge and making change. And that's what you're wanting to do. You've called for this change. You've called for the power tower to be deconstructed and broken down, and you're not even wanting to recycle or reuse its materials. Well, if that isn't on purpose, Virgo, I don't know what is. You haven't even allowed a helper card to come in yet alongside Michael to clarify and to bring in more. So let's see. Are you ready to go into that now? Let's take a look. Okay. Well, you're definitely not wanting a pearl. We're going to go into the Moon Magic Medicine deck and see what we have going here for you guys. You've been talking about need for some energy and energy session, some leveling up. And there's some there's something coming up in your future over here, something that you're good at that you didn't even know about. Wow. Okay. Make you a little nervous, a little anxious there, Virgo. I can understand. Okay. Let's see what we have going on. Okay. Wax and quarter. We're heading into it, y'all. We're heading into this phase and it's coming in quickly, coming in this week is what you're talking about. This shift, this change that you have called for. And it's kind of a decision point is a bit of what I see because the two cards that were allowed to remain, uh, it's not like I set out a um, reading, just sometimes when I'm cleaning and clearing the decks and preparing, they come flying out and they're ready to speak. But in this case, I decided to take it upon the energy session to break the standstill and to get an agreement with the movement that you were calling for because this was at the very bottom of the reading and it was sitting there talking about closing that gate, closing the door on the past, saying you're totally done and leaving it behind. It's a big shift. It's a total revolution and it's a complete resolution. So what we have going on here is acknowledging in your mind 
that this, this isn't like an indecisive seven of cups. This is a decisive one. The decision that she is making is I choose the whole kingdom. I choose it all. I choose the whole rainbow. I choose the Skittles, the full flavor. I want to taste it all. Look at the many facets of her crown going on here. Look at the wisdom and the royalty of the peacock coming in. All the eyes, all the knowing, the gifted knowing of knowing your whole self. That's a bit of what you had going on here. Is you're like, it's limited and it's rooted down in one facet, but I want to explore. I want to know more. Okay, well, let's help you explore and know more. Who do we want to step in with? You're wanting to go into the True Heart Tarot? Ooh, look at the bottom. Talk about Jupiter, the power of Megan, a way for you to move past that abandonment, rejection, those type of things. It's no longer going to be that type of uh, having to walk away because someone walked away from you. This is you being able to step forward and to walk into, to walk towards, to be able to taste that mm. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Taste that. They're like, Joy, shut up. Let me finish the sentence. And I'm like, what? The cards are like, I'm talking, not you. Sir. Okay. Okay. You want to taste this? You're like, hell yeah. Who says I have to go step by step in order and follow the rules and be rooted down to rise up and all that? You're like, my room is here. Michael is here massaging my ruby, and when he does, it causes me to jolt forward. It gives me a charge and an energetic awakening and rising up, and it stimulates my cosmic eggs and my cosmic DNA. And I realize and know what I'm made of, and the power of decisions in my hands. I am the magic, the miracle maker, the wonder maker. And this is what I want. This is what I choose. And the thing is, is being able to, oh, yes, y'all, stop. Woo. Okay. Look at that pink nose, y'all. To taste all those flavors because the rainbow comes together as one. Someone who is rich and experienced, they're interesting. Um, you keep saying they're environmental. Okay, well, whatever. They're environmental and they're interesting. There's someone that has their, their heart open to the world, not just to you. Um, they have a youthful spirit, definitely. Let me put it down to look at it because you're not wanting me to hold it up. This is incoming. This is this week, all right? Irregardless of when you tune into this, this is the week, the week you tune in. This is this golden uprising. And the unique thing is this is not so much a dawn. This is more of a sunset. You know, some cultures and religions believe that the day begins when the sun sets. That first, the, the earth was formless and void. It was the dark, kind of like the new moon. And we begin to increase and grow from the new moon, from the darkness, right? Just like the baby gestates in the darkness and then it comes forward into the light. So that's what they see as the beginning of a brand new day at sunset. Well, also, because we're moving into uh, winter. So talk about the season of it. Going into that closure and that that lockdown, that closing down is a time to regroup. And that's when you're going to, okay, this is the side card, y'all. It was over on my other table. They asked me not to go back there this week for whatever reason because I need the light to be able to come on in my home. And when I record that, I have to close the light out. And they were like, uh-uh. This card was separate from this deck. Hello? Hello? I don't even know how it was there. And it was sitting there with this card. I'm like, whose hands put that there? No one touches my stuff. No one messes with my stuff. Only my son lives here. But it's talking about you and your mastery. And do you see the reiteration going on? This is you getting all your pieces back, all your permission back, all of your eyes back, all of your soul, all of your genesis, all of yourself. And I got to do a deep dive, baby, because your tower just fell. <laughs> your tower just fell, Virgo. Woo, woo. Let me get it. Okay, I'm back. That's what it's going to feel like. It's not this big destructive rubble thing, but you're like, I don't want the remnants. I don't want to resurrect. I don't want to uh, recycle. Because see, look, it's limited. This is you. You want a world that's colorful and bright, not just elegant and ornate. You want that one that's pulsing and breathing and full of life that's in other humanity and other people and other experiences outside of the inside. You're talking some integrity, some Scorpio. Mm -hmm. you like, I want some of that divine connection. <laughs> Joy, I know how to massage Ruby. You better stop it, Virgo. When did you get so saucy? I know you always have been, but you usually kept it undercover. Maybe you ought to talk to Pisces and help them raise that fish up out of the water. So here we have the harp. And it's talking about expect great happiness. 
But this happiness, like it's in the power of your hands, the music of your soul, the strumming of your streams, uh, stirrings and the tuning of your streams. When you have the awareness of who you are and what you were born for, these are emanating now like all the streams of your chart, like being intimate with who you are and what you've afforded yourself in this lifetime, tasting the colors of your rainbow. And as you know and experience yourself, you're quite aware of what you allow in your environment. Oh, y'all. I was fine till I clicked record. Um, Because there's no more tolerating. There's no more uh, drudgery, trudging along, going forward. No, you're ready to be abundant and zesty and full of zeal in life and refreshment. Do you see unctuousness, baby? I want to get a little bit more under this Ten of Cups because it is so delightful. And it has a foundation. I love it that the home that you're in now, well, because your tower already fell. So we're just going to talk present tense. The home that you're in now, that you went from the seven of cups and you began to awaken to the fullness, full spectrum of who you are. So you're allowing full spectrum people into your life. Look at that home. You're like, it has only enough wall to hold up all those windows so that even when I'm inside, I can be inundated with all that is around me that gives me life and brings me to life. And now she's beginning to warm up and smile. This queen of swords is warming up. She's talking about action. Now queen, hang on a second. We're, we're, we're looking at these 10 of cups. Okay. I get it. She's like, stop, collaborate and listen. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Talk to me. What do you want to know? I feel you right there. Hang on. Okay. Queen of Swords, let's talk about the Princess of Swords, going back to where your mind isn't so made up. It's like the, not just, you know, the intentional power of manifestation, law of attraction. It's really being open in this organic plasma state, which is what we're moving into, into the unknown and allowing it to be magical, allowing it to be rich in experience, allow it to have the innocence, but also the, the innovation, the progressiveness that youth has because you don't know everything. The limits aren't there and the impossible can happen. That's what she's showing here. So this is reminding me of that little path that we saw at the bottom of the True Heart Tarot deck of Jupiter, affording you the opportunity to do this very thing, to combine and divine. Combine and divine. What do you want? Okay. They want Mary L. So let's jump on Mary L to combine and divine. Now we're going under the Ten of Cups. Okay. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, Princess. So this that the princess says is, is you, okay? So male or female here, it's this new beginning and more of action related, right? But it's the, like in the puddles of the flower, not they love me, they love me, not it's they love me, they love me, they love me, I love me, they love me, I love me. You know, it's this beautiful dance with life that life loves you. And that's what makes all things possible. It removes any and all fear. And that is what she has been trying to say. Removing the shadow of doubt, Virgo. So under the Ten of Cups, remove the shadow of doubt. We have the Hermit and Temperance coming in. Look at that. You inhaling the spirit of life, the creative power, because life is the force. It is the seed, the water, the seed of life. It brings forth everything that you desire and it creates this divine dance of union all the way up and out and then returning to yourself. But there comes a time for you to ditch this lamp. It is like the last thing you're letting go of is the star that you were, meaning what you were known for. What have you been known for, Virgo? It doesn't even just have to be a career. It could be a personality streak like, you know, I'm a nurturer. And that's what I was known for. So people tend to rely heavily on the nurturing, right? Or the support or the coming alongside, that type of thing. So same with you. Whatever that is, is maybe you're a fixer. And it's coming along to say that's that's being shed. This is what you're holding in your hand here. It's like that little tower. It was that last little piece of yourself. So you're talking about your south node. Okay? So our south node is the part of ourselves. So look wherever it is in your chart, friend. 
and tune into that sign this week about massaging the ruby. Uh, Michael will give you a further facet on what is going on there because remember he's a conglomeration of energies and entities coming on and to bring you into your center and into your goldness world, into your goldness self where it flows freely. The magnificence of your light I mean, that is the sun. You are the sun and it glows and it emanates naturally. I mean, the sun didn't ever really go to sleep. We do. Okay. So it's about you being in your full, perfect radiance. But that's that's what you're shedding here. You're shedding your south node and you are moving towards your north node, which is what we are all called to do in this chart, in this lifetime. And that's where you can end up tipping the scales, rocking your boat, messing yourself up. But when you begin to move towards your north node, you're activating its influx of power and its influence to level all the way out across the chart and it brings balance to that south node where you didn't even you thought you were balanced before you didn't even know what the counterbalance is you didn't even know what the temperance was because it's cosmic it's otherworldly it's not of this world and they're saying incoming and i'm like Okay, incoming what? Incoming what? Incoming what, Miss Temperance? Talk about those stealthy eyes, friend. Ooh, your eyes are like the sunrise now. What is incoming? Mm, many suitors, many choices. Um, and they're all different levels of the same emanation. Okay? Different levels of the same emanation. So you're talking to me more about your capacity. I need to remind you of the color, friend. It's not logical. It doesn't make sense. Step into the color and focus on yourself. Pursue yourself. And in the pursuit of yourself, you will find yourself. And in finding yourself, you will find all it is you desire and everything you need. Look at the magnificence of color going on here. This is you, okay? This is you, okay? So they're saying don't focus, focus as much on business and finance as you do personal expression, creativity, and develop, development. And not development of who you are, but development of your understanding, allowing those layers of the knowledge to come in like the facets. Gaze into your ruby. Gaze into yourself. Be fascinated with who you are. Do the things that fascinate you. Follow your fascination. Really stir into that goldness within yourself. The thing that makes you feel warm and liquid is like honey inside. The thing that makes you go, mmm, and makes you sleep good at night. Or when you eat that food in your mouth, it makes you make that same sound life as being anxious. It's like, I want to hear you moan. I want to hear you make some noise. That makes me quite happy. And that plays the streams of life. And it begins to awaken what is to come? What is to come to replace this? Okay, so I need to move it out and bring this on in, okay? So incoming, we have the one of fire. This is called force, but it's actually form. That's when things began to complete each other. No more competition, no more struggle running the rat race, no more logic and bending of the mind and going in the back and forth and the discussions and negotiations and the compromise and all that kind of energy. No, this is something way more dynamic. It's creative. It's beyond. It's otherworldly. For some of you, I see Leo in there. Okay. Maybe check out Leo, whichever Leo read you're called to. Let me see what else are we showing. There's a reiteration of your happiness of the heart. I'm also seeing, y'all be patient. I need to go grab a deck. This isn't for everybody. This particular card that's coming is for some of you, okay? It's for some of you. It would make sense because those have been set aside at my other table too. This is for some of you. Okay. The Hanged Man. So this really has to do with your magic, friend. Magic, imagine, imagination, the impression, the images that you dwell upon. The image that you see every morning when you wake up is divine, powerful, and beautiful. It's magnificent. It's, 
it's um, wonderful. Man or woman, you know, look at yourself and ask to see the sun, okay? Because when we look in a mirror, we're looking at a reflection. What is a reflection? The moon is a reflection of the sun. If you have a few trusted loved ones around you who are encouragers, and that when they say it, it rings a bell inside of you, those are the ones who see your sun. They see you in this goldness, okay? They see you directly, and they don't diminish you. They enhance you and exalt you and lift you up, okay? This doesn't mean rely heavily on them, but take that to heart and then view yourself in light of that in the mirror, okay? Because that mirror is the moon. So you see yourself as the moon. They see you as the sun. And you're like, well, that's why I didn't understand. I didn't know if I could trust them. But she's talking about trust. Trust this. Trust this. Whatever that is. Okay. So here is the healing of the wound. Exchanging it for the magic. The magic. The mystery. The coming undone. The allowing this cosmic awakening very much for many of you. It's your Jupiter. Your Jupiterian power. For those of you here that are men, you resonate as Jupiter. So it's the awakening of you. And you're going to feel this rush coming on through. Especially with Mars having turned. Um, and us plummeting towards that transition of December 21st. Which, by the way, check out the Sagittarius You Are a Love Machine reading. Because that has to do with that gateway. And it'll begin to smooth this out for you and make you feel like you're not racing against time. Okay? Because Big Papa, you know, Big Daddy Saturn provide a shortcut, not a short change. You will miss out on nothing. All right? It'll bring you into that center of yourself. Now, for others of you, this is your divine lover counterpart coming in. But it can also have to do with your luck, your favor, your opportunities that have been coming your way. But you have felt like a fish out of water. That's the thing. It's like you're good at something you didn't know you were good at. Because you haven't been listening to your friends, your loved ones who see you like this. They're like, yes, I've been telling you. And you're like, I don't know. I can't even get the towel. It's gone now. And she's like, tell them to stop it. Virgo, stop it. All right. Taste the rainbow. The profusion of beauty and life and magnificence and power and deliciousness that's you. Okay. Begin to enjoy it. Begin to see it. Begin to meditate and to reflect on this inwardly, but also I'm seeing a point of looking yourself in the mirror and allowing what you see to change and transform before your very eyes. Cause you keep, she keeps winking at this magic miracle power coming on in at this divine cosmic energy rippling through and, um, awakening the elusive mystery of the tiger. Okay, doing away with this limited, tiny little vessel that was holding your star. And let your star be hung in the sky. Okay. There's the nose, y'all. Here's your cue. Okay. Like when somebody famous wants to let a person know on the other side of the camera that, that they're thinking about, them, they'll, they'll do like a little nose tweak or an ear tweak. <laughs> Whoever, I see you. Okay. But then that comes in and the wound's going to heal. Trade the wound. All right. Trade that old image, that, that old way of seeing yourself, the scars, the mars, the, the diminishing self, and see the uprising self, see the beauty, see the play, see the possibility in your future now, here, today. We've done away with the standstill, and we've gotten it moving again. I'll fall for this. That's more boxes, y'all. This does not make you happy, okay? This is the king of wealth and all the offers and all those opportunities. You're like, no, if your mind has to start do, 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 working like that, just say no. All right. Cause this is coming on in. You banished, you put the tower out, you kick this out into the world and you brought in that temperance. Check out where your North node is on your chart. Okay. And go watch that sign for the Ruby and find out what he is trying to tell you here. I love it, Virgo, that you open the gate, the streams of possibility, but it also leads to great happiness. You're on a scavenger hunt, Virgo. Remember to leave me a th thumbs up. Leave me comments or compliments down below. I'll take either, but I want to know what's going on, on the other side of this camera. I want to know what's going on for you, okay? I'm excited to have you here, to have you a part of this team that we have at Joy of the World, making our world full, bright, and beautiful because you are in it, flourishing, satisfied, and fulfilled. I truly love you. All right, friend. Talk soon. Bye.